Okay, so the newest episode of Slasher, Flesh and Blood came out, episode 6. Um, next week is going to be the finale. We have episode 7 and 8 dropping at the same time. So I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do those reviews, whether I'm going to do individual reviews for episode uh, 7 and 8, or if I'm going to make just the one video and combine episode 7 and 8 uh, into the one video. Um, I don't know, what do, you, what do you guys want me to do? Uh, let me know down in the comments. Do you prefer individual reviews? Do you like them individually? Or do you want it as like a double, kind of as a double, like feature video featuring, you know, the two episodes. Uh, next week's review I can see being very long because, you know, there's going to be a lot of information. We're going to finally find out who the killer is, which is the biggest question. I've been wondering about this show for the entire season. Uh, this is a show that I've really liked. There hasn't really been, like, a bad episode. There have been slow episodes in this season, but there hasn't really been, like, a bad episode. This is this show is definitely more centred around the family dynamic and the family drama that goes on, that goes, like, back way before, um, like, season four even took place. Which is uh, which, which is interesting, and we learned some of that in in the, in the newest episode here. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to next week and episode six. Okay, so yeah, let's discuss episode six. I took notes for this episode uh, because yeah, there was there was so much that happened in this episode um, that if I was to you know turn on my camera and talk about this episode, I I think I would. I would forget half of the things that half of the things that I wrote down on my page here. So um, I'm glad I did take notes because yeah, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to get through here. Uh, there's a lot of new predictions that I have for where the reveal of this show and who it could be um, uh, in the final episode. So, anyways, yeah, let's get into it. Slasher, Flesh and Blood, season four, episode six. So this episode starts with a really um, unpredictable, if I'm being honest, unpredictable opening. Like I did not see in the first few minutes of this episode, I was just like, holy shit, because like I did not expect Afra to appear, which um, she's only appeared only, I think, a handful of times. Um, she was the one... Um, yeah, she was the one that appeared, that was on the, on the loading dock, uh, at the start of episode one. She was the one who was eating, like, who was, what was it, like, eating, like, the food off the ground or eating the bird shit or whatever. Um, and yeah, then I think she's, seen, she's been seen a few other times, but she hasn't. This episode is dedicated to her character. And so, yeah, we learn a lot about her character, uh, within 45 minutes. There is a lot that is fleshed out. We learn, yeah, we learn certain things that I, that I will get to. But yeah, man, this is a brutal opening. Like, this is a great opening sequence. Like, I did not predict it. So, uh, Florence is telling you, so if you don't remember at the end of the last episode, uh, Florence was actually, was attached to that, like, was attached to her art, her poetic art, as it's uh, quoted in this episode. Um, yeah, and yeah, she, she got, like, chained up or tied up to that, to her post, to her art post, and, um, uh, and in this episode, we see what happens to her and the main characters, they get the answer that they wanted, because they, they, they want to figure out if uh, she was the killer or not, um, which, speaking of that, actually, like, this whole series, like, people are killing people, I mean, Florence killed uh, the, uh, the fucking maid, like, I think it was, like, she, uh, she put him, uh, her in the, um, like, in that machine, uh, in like a episode two or three, I think it was. I can't exactly remember. And then in this episode, like we have Afra uh, killing people left and right. So yeah, this is a really messed up family. I think it, like that just adds for me adds to the family drama of this episode. Yeah, but yeah, we find out what happened to uh, Florence in this episode, which yeah, she uh, she gets her tongue like she gets her tongue ripped out. Well, cut up, sorry, by uh, by Afra. So Afra appears um, like moments after um, the last episode ended, and yeah, she cuts out her tongue. Which uh, man, that is a brutal opening. Like fantastic makeup there. Like it looks, it looks really, really badass. Really strong and gory opening for this. Um, and then there's an interesting line of dialogue afterwards. 
uh, saying Athla spent most of her childhood in the orphanage. And th- that, that one made me think of a couple things this episode did, actually, in general. Um, for one, this made me think of the movie uh, Orphan. Like, made me think that this episode could be going in an orphan type direction, which, in a way, it does. Uh, like, there are some, you know, there are some new elements or some unique elements. It's not like a direct rip off, but I can just, I can tell this inspiration taken, uh, this inspiration taken for her character from the movie Orphan. Uh, great movie if you haven't seen it. Um,. In this episode, we also uh, see a reappearance of Robin uh, Turner, which I believe, I believe he was the one who got who had strung up on the wall with all of his guts hanging out. Um, I, I can't remember if that was him or if he was the one who um, who got poked in the eye by the fire poker. I believe I think it was. Um, but yeah, anyways, yeah, he has a reappearance uh, in this episode. Um, and it's it's all in flashbacks. So just to the end of this, it's he appears to add to uh, to add to Afra's story that is being explored here. Um, but yeah, it's cool. It's cool to see his character back. And then there's an interesting line in this episode that Afra says as she's as she's killing uh, Florence, where she says, "No one loved me." Which that really got me thinking about what the meaning of that line could be like. Didn't her parents like her? Did her parents maybe in the orphanage? Did they abuse her? Um, and and like that's the line that kind of got me thinking that this could be going in an orphan type of direction. And especially the way this episode goes, like by the end of it, like there is definitely an orphan style here. Well, feel I guess. Um, but yeah, no one loved me. That like, that's an interesting line because like that could mean many different things. Um, but maybe it was just like Robin, like Robin Turner, like he it's explored in this episode that he was really trying hard to be a father, um, and to really come to bring like Afra up, um as like, you know, as a good person and all that, and he didn't want to, you know, he didn't want to mess it up. Um, but then on the other hand, uh, his wife was always, was always like, there's like, there's something, you know, mentally wrong with her and all of that. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, so I can see why she thinks that, and that kind of does tie into her motivation for killing, but actually also, yeah, speaking of, speaking of Florence's, um, the, you know, kill scene um, at the start of this episode. It's just, it's interesting to like, like you would have to have a very particular mindset and a very particular person to kill another person. Like, there's there's no way in, in the human mind, uh, especially like it's. Here's the thing as well. She she's really young, so she's have she has uh, got to have seen some shit to actually really be driven to do that. And it's just, like, looking at her facial reaction as she was doing it, she, you know, she didn't really show any, like, any concern. And so, yeah, just, like, that, like, that just brought up many more questions about her character. But, yeah, then, yeah, some, some of that is explored in here. But it's never really, it, it's never really explained. It's never really explained, which is the most interesting thing. Um, and there's one thing for sure that we know about the, about the killer reveal now is that Christy, Afra, and Florence, well, I mean, yeah, Florence is dead, um, but yeah, they are definitely not the killer because the killer was chasing after uh, Christy and Afra. Um, there was another thing I was going to add here. So, yeah, the killer was actually the one to kill, uh, was, to, was the one to kill Florence, um, like she, like, uh, she got, uh, you know, pushed onto, uh, onto, onto her art and then, and then like, and then, uh, the two poles, uh, stuck into her. Um, what else do I have written down here? Uh, Afra, yeah, okay. So, like, Afra's phone, so there's, there's a scene when they're in that, you know, in that underground bunker of, of sorts and, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Christy. Uh, she goes onto Afra's phone and looks at a photo gallery, and 
like this just adds to the mysteria um adds to the mystery of her character like all the photos on her phone are of everyone's dead bodies like she's even taken selfies with people with decapitated heads rotten corpse and it's like it's it's so like it's so fucked up like why would you have photos um and just and, and and then like we see a different side of her where she goes all fucking mental like on on uh, on Chrissy and just starts attacking her and biting her flesh and all that and so yeah she is yeah the, there's definitely like something happened to her at the orphanage or she was raised wrong by them but I, I don't think it has anything to do with Robin Turner's character because I think he I think he tried his best he tried his best it's it like everything that's wrong with her it has to do with the orphanage um uh, yeah for sure but yeah I, I, I find that i find that really interesting that that her entire photo gallery is made up of like uh, is made up of dead bodies so yeah um it's, and yeah like we've always known something was uh, something was wrong with afra uh since the first episode when we saw her you know since we saw her like eating you know bird shit off the ground at the at the loading dock um and yeah so here's my prediction for the reveal now so i still think vincent i still think he's the killer like hands down um the way he's he's been acting throughout this whole season like my thoughts have not changed on that one little bit i still think he's the killer but there's a scene in this that is interesting to me that that gets me thinking even more where Theo, where he wants to grab the boat and he wants to leave. Like he wants to get off this fucking island. He has absolutely had it. Um, and Vincent and Liv, Vincent and Liv try to stop Theo from leaving, from leaving on the boat, which this this is interesting. This is interesting, all right? Where I think Vincent and Liv are working together because, like, at this point in the series, like, I don't, I would, like, if, if it was me, I would I would be off that island in a heartbeat. Like, I would not be staying there any, any longer than I already have to. So, and Vincent and Liv want to stay there. And like, because like they're, because they're saying that that the boat isn't ready. When what you're seeing, like it's clearly ready. And then uh, Vincent decides to poke a hole in it, so when the boat does go in the water, it will just sink in, like instantaneously. So yeah, that's why I think that the killer, like it's been a swapping game. Like it, it's a duo between Vincent and Lip. I think it, I think those two characters, I think they're I think they've been taking turns at being the killer at killing off at being uh, at, uh, at killing off people like i think that makes a lot of sense to me um because yeah they seem to be the only two people in this entire season that do not want to leave this island which if there's a killer on the, on the if there's a killer on the loose like you would want to you know find the nearest boat and and leave that fucking ground so yeah I just I, I found that really odd that they want to stay on this island when there's a killer uh when there's a killer loose so yeah that i found interesting and then the final shot the final shot of this episode uh is also um is also interesting like i am excited to see where episode uh seven does go here where afra um is like she's in this like she's in this this acid type thing um where she's like like her hallucinating not hallucinating but she's seeing something that isn't really there and yeah and the killer is like literally feet away from her and so yeah she walks over to the uh, over to the killer and holds hands with the killer and then and then that's when the episode ends so the killer so that must mean so that must mean the uh Afra is somehow connected to the killer in a way. So, um, yeah, I don't, like, because yeah, she seems to be talking to, like, everyone in this family. She seems to, you know, to be around um, at all the family gatherings. So I don't know who that could possibly be. Um, if my 
prediction is correct and Vincent and Liv are the two killers, like, it would make sense if the killer, if the killer holding your hands with Afra, if that would be Liv. Like, I think that, that would make sense. And Vincent, I also think it would make sense with, but I just think, like, the relationship between Afra, uh, between Afra and Liv, um, I just feel like that would make the more sense. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, th this was a really interesting episode. There's, th there's a lot of, there's a lot of predictions to be floating around with this episode. I'm excited, uh, I, I'm excited to see the finale. I'm excited to finally find out who the killer is, because yeah, that's been on my mind since, uh, episode one. So yeah, so excited to... Uh, to see episode seven and eight, uh, let me know what you want me to do for uh, for my review of episode seven and eight. Whether you want individual reviews or you want a, a you know like a double feature uh, review, let me know down in the comments. Uh, so, anyways, guys, have you seen a Slash of Flesh and Blood season one episode six yet? If you have, let me know down in the comments. What did you think of this episode? Did you like it? Did you think it was mad, or did you really not like it? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. So, anyways, guys, hope you have a good rest of your day, evening, and night, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.